Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a hair tutorial on how I curl my hair. Um, I have naturally straight hair and sometimes I like to curl my hair. So if you want to see how I do it, please keep on watching. Okay, before we get into the hair tutorial, the hair curler that I use is the Britney Spears hair curler, which is actually really really good i think this is like a an inch barrel i'm not too sure on the size it could be like an inch or an inch and a half i don't really like to straighten it because i have stubborn straight hair and when i curl it the curls go away like pretty much instantly but that's the other reason why i like to use a smaller barrel rather than using a bigger barrel like this one this is the two inch one and it just it doesn't work on my hair because my hair is so stubborn even when i use hairspray and heat protection i've tried literally everything i think it heats up to 220 degrees or something like that i could be wrong um i'll leave all the information on this hair curler down below this actually isn't mine it's um dill's mom's and she gave me a lend of it which i should probably give back to her but um yeah it's just a really good curler so i'm gonna put this on and i'm gonna section off my hair what i like to do is just part the top section and the bottom section off like this and i have a bobbin handy and just kind of like tie this up like that and then i have the bottom half down like that i like to use a brush as well the brush that i use is the tangle teaser it just looks like that it has hair on it so what i do before i curl my hair i um i brush it out really really well because you don't want any tangles so the first thing i like to do is i go under and work my way up so i grab just a piece like this i kind of just pull this leave this down here and then with the barrel, I have the clamp facing me because I want to have the curls going away from my face. So I grab the clamp, clamp it down on my hair, and then curl away. Grabbing the, the tail each time it turns. And then I just keep that there for like a bit, about 20 seconds until you feel the heat like completely through your whole hair and then I just like to let it go like that and then I don't like pin it up or anything like that because I like them I like my curls wavy so I just put that behind my back and then do the rest of my hair so I'm going to show you again just the same thing have the clamp like towards me kind of in front of my hair and then twist it around just a little bit in the middle first Heat that up. Also keeping like the hair completely flat against the barrel. So when you feel the heat is completely gone through your hair for a bit like 10, 15 seconds, then you just let it go. Like that. You can see it's like a barrel curl and then just flick it behind. I'm gonna do the whole bottom of my hair and then I'll come back and show you the top part because I do some things differently with the top of my hair. So I'll just fast forward this. Okay, so I did the bottom half of my hair and I look like Shirley Temple, but we're gonna fix this after we do the top section. I'm gonna be brushing this out and all that kind of stuff. So now what I do with the top section, so I'm just gonna bring it down and then figure out where you wanna like part your hair. So for me, I like to just 
part it's straight in the middle okay so just like that I've got two pieces of hair like that what I like to do is just grab the hair that isn't like curled and then just flick the curled hair back so with this half I'm just gonna bobbin this up like that and then with this section I'm just gonna brush it a little bit and then I'm gonna split it in half like that I kind of just like roughly kind of section it off and then I'm gonna grab this and bring it over here I look so pretty right now like that and then with this section it's a lot easier to do because there's a lot less hair just make sure you don't get the curled hair and the non curled hair tangled up brush it through and then I'm gonna curl this part just normally how I did the bottom section Okay, so now that I did that part of my hair, I'm going to take down this part. Kind of sort that out, keeping this down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to separate the front section from the back section. So like about that. And then I'm going to leave that down. Then grabbing the two front sections from both sides, I'm just going to twist that over this side and then just bobbing it together like that and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side Okay, so now that we have both sides done, I'm gonna take down the front parts. So just find the part that you're most comfortable with. This one is just like the usual that I go for. We're gonna just brush these two out. So what I do is I'm gonna grab half of it like this and I'm gonna curl this part first. So what I do is just the same thing, just grab it. Just curl that part, just as we were doing with the other pieces of hair. This part takes like no time at all to get really warm. And then with this, what I do is I brush it kind of towards me and a little bit towards the other side. And I grab my iron with the clamp facing down kind of do the same thing and then I curl just like this you want to be careful though because the iron is really hot and then when you feel that's hot enough just let it drop down like that kind of push it to the back I'm going to do it to the other side now. Now, coming up to this part, as you can see, like this part kind of fell from behind and it's no longer that curly so I'm gonna leave that alone for now but with this I'm gonna do the exact same thing as we did to this piece right here I'm gonna brush it to the front bring the curling iron up and then curl and 
and then we're just going to drop it down like that and let it just settle. I like to just put my finger through it and curl it the way I want it to curl. Like that and then remember this piece here isn't really curled so I'm gonna go back and just curl this a little bit more. Oh, I'm just gonna leave this to Ah, to cool down just for a little bit. I leave it for about like five minutes. I just watch something on YouTube and then come back and then I'll judge it out and kind of style it the way I want it to. Okay, so my hair is completely cool now. I'm just gonna put all the hair to the front and you can see it's all really curly and lovely. And you can see some part, like some pieces of hair have like fallen out already. If you find hairs like that, you can just go back and like recurl it. But right now, I like the way it is so I'm just going to brush my fingers through it. I wouldn't do this unless your hair is completely cooled because if your hair is still warm and you brush it out you can lose the curl. So as you can see now it's more wavy and pretty. Just by like clawing your hands through it you can just like separate the curls. I do it like that and then the other side. I just kind of place it where I want it to go and that's basically it for the curling part and as you can see my hair my hair is naturally really straight so it's going to look really flat on normal days like today and I want to make it a little bit more voluminous so what I'm going to do is going to take a comb and I'm going to like section the parts where I want to be like back combing. I find it easier if you use um a dry shampoo I have none at the moment which is annoying um but the one that I use is the Batiste the volume one it's like it has a mixture of hairspray and shampoo or dry shampoo so whatever way you like style it it's not gonna move so yeah I'm just gonna like back home it as much as I possibly can there you go that's how I curl my hair so I hope you liked this tutorial, if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section below. See you in my next video, bye!